Okay. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the next Hack to Loop. Uh, this is the waterfall edition. Uh, we wanted to do this a month ago, uh, but it was still snowing. And now it's been 75 degrees, nearly 80, and <laughs> that's Duluth, North Shore, but the snow is melted and the waterfalls are flowing. Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to show five of our favorite waterfalls from Duluth to Grand Portage, pretty much near Canada. You can throw yep. a rock there. Yep. Um, so hopefully you enjoy the five waterfalls and uh, come to Duluth. All right, now we're going to show you Tisher Creek, a part of Congdon Park, which is right above Glenshane. Let's go! Here we are at Tisher Creek or Condon Park. Uh, of course, we Glenshean people need to show you this park because it is the park built by Chester Condon, hence why it's called Condon Park. Uh, the landscape designer, Charles Levitt, who designed all of Glenshean, also designed this park. I would easily argue it's one of the top two parks in all of Duluth and it rivals many of the great waterfall locations of the shore. Once you get into this park, you will never believe it's inside the city. So I apologize to all the Duluthians. I'm kind of letting our secret out of the bag. Come check this out. This is Condon Park, just right above Glenshade. It's awesome. Okay, now we get to go to Gooseberry Falls. at Gooseberry Falls and this really is the gateway waterfall to all of the waterfalls on the North Shore. A lot of people see this one and it only gets better from here. Plus, it's pretty accessible. Now we're taking you to Tedaguch. Let's go! So, you remember when we said that this hike was a little bit more difficult than the rest? Well, it's because there's an abundance of stairs, but you got it! Okay, and now we get to go to the Cross River, which you may have driven by before. Now, stop, get out of your car, and check out this amazing waterfall. It's the easiest one to possibly get to. So, go Cross River! this waterfall is you can just hop out of your car, go check out the waterfall, and then go right back to Lamb's Resort and camp on the shore of Lake Superior. Hey! Hello! We are basically 
basically in Canada. Yes. Honestly, it's across the other side of the river, so we could throw a rock, a small rock, and they'd reach Canada. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So this is the Grand Portage State Park, and here is the High Falls on the Pigeon River. Uh, I think one of the really great things about this is, A, it's the highest waterfall in Minnesota. Wow. So you got to see that, because really, pictures don't do it justice. Uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, make sure you go to both viewing points. Uh, but also what's great about the High Falls is it's insanely accessible. And so for a lot of folks who don't want to climb a ton of stairs, uh, there's actually a pathway that's flat the entire way to the view of the waterfall. Very few stairs. So if you are young parents and you have strollers, you can stroller ride the kids all the way to the waterfall. 